Hey, what's up everyone? Tracking a user journey through your website before they fill out a form is a fantastic way of learning about user behavior and the activity on your site. So you can keep your finger on the pulse and see what's working and what to focus on next. Many of us spend a lot of time going over the look, layout and content of a site with the main goal of a user filling out a form and generating us a lead or sale. This is how millions of businesses generate income and grow online. But how do we know what is working and getting those visitors to take that action? User tracking lets us see all that information and there's a really quick and easy way to add it to your WordPress site with WP Forms. WP Forms is the best drag and drop form builder for WordPress and has an amazing library of add-ons to help boost your business. One of these add-ons is the user journey add-on. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the pro version of WP Forms and install that add-on. I'll then show you how to add a contact form to your website and view the user journey reports. Let's jump right in. So to get started, all we need to do is head over to wpforms.com. The link to that is in the description for this video. Once you're on this page, the next thing to do is to click the Get WP Forms Now button. Now that brings you to the pricing page and all you need to do here is pick a plan. And once you've picked a plan, click the get started button. And once you've signed up for an account, then log in. Once you've logged into your WP Forms account, the next thing to do is head over to the downloads tab. And once you're on the downloads tab, click on the download WP Forms button here and you're gonna download the plugin to your computer. Once you've downloaded the plugin, the next thing to do is to copy the license key. And you can do that by clicking this little icon here. And when you've done that, head back over to your WordPress dashboard. Now we're in our WordPress dashboard, the next thing we need to do is install the WP Forms Pro plugin. To do that, head over to plugins here on the left hand side, hover over that and click on add new. Once you're on the add plugins page, the next thing to do is to come up here to the upload plugin button, click on that. And here you can see now we can choose the file that we've just downloaded to our computer. Once that file's added, you just click the install now button and that's going to install the plugin. Once that plugin's installed, click the blue activate plugin button here. As you can see, we did have WP Forms Lite installed on this website and activated. That's been deactivated when we installed and activated the WP Forms Pro version. The next thing to do, and we've got a really handy little note up here to let us know, is to enter our license key for WP Forms. So click the link there. And right here in this box, this is where we can paste our license key. Once that's pasted in, we just click the verify key button here. Now we get a little success pop up just to let us know that that's all verified. So the next thing to do here is to install our user journey add-on. And to do that, we head over to the WP Forms area on the left-hand side here and click on add-ons. Now we're on the WP Forms add-on page, we need to find our user journey add-on. As you can see, there are a lot of fantastic add-ons here that we can add to our website. And this is the user journey add-on that we want to install on our site. So we're just going to click the install add-on button. And once that's activated, we can see here in the status, it says active and we can deactivate it if we want by toggling this button here. We are now gonna create a contact form and add it to the website. It will be with this contact form that we'll be able to see the user's tracking data. So to create a contact form from the WordPress dashboard, all we need to do is head over here to WP Forms on the left-hand side, hover over that, and then click on Add New. So that's gonna bring us to the WP Forms Builder. And the first thing that we get to do is to select a template if we want to from the template library. And there are a huge amount of templates available with WP Forms. And this helps speed up the process of building forms out when you need it. Of course you can, if you want to, build your form completely from scratch. And to do that, you just click on this create blank form button here and that will give you that option. For this video, I just wanna create a simple contact form to show how the user journey works. So I'm just gonna click on the simple contact form template here and use that. And then that brings us to the form editor. And as you can see, by selecting a template, we now have all the fields dropped in for us. We can choose to, if we want to, add any more fields by dragging and dropping them onto the form. And it's that simple. You can literally drag and drop to order them however you want. To remove any fields, all you need to do is head over here and click the little trash icon on the right hand side and that will delete a field. Now I'm gonna leave this contact form as it is. So once you're happy with your contact form, click the save button here at the right hand side. And once that's saved, it's now ready to put on your website. Now that we've created our contact form, the next thing to do is to add it to our site. To do that, what we're gonna do is head over to pages here on the left. 
click on that and now we're going to pick a page to add our contact form to i'm going to add it to the home page so i'm just going to click edit underneath that now we're going to add our form that we've created with wp forms to our home page using the block editor and to do that the first thing we need to do is come up here to the blue button with the plus icon and click on that next thing to do is click here in the search bar and type in wp forms so this is WP Forms block here. All you have to do is click on that and that inserts it at the bottom of the page. So what we need to do is just scroll down. Here you can see WP Forms block there. And the next thing to do is to click on the drop down to select our contact form. Now that we've selected our contact form, we can now see it on the page. And to move it into place, we can come up here and we can toggle the arrows and move it up. And once you've got it into place, you can now size it and style it to how you want. And then once you've done that and you're happy with it, come up here and click the update button. Now let's take a look at how to view the user's tracking data after they've completed a form and what that information will mean for our site. So we're back in the WordPress dashboard and to view your user tracking data for your form, all you need to do is head over to WP Forms here on the left, hover over that and click on entries. Now this is the entry screen for WP Forms. We've only got one form on this website. That's the simple contact form that we created earlier in the video and added to our website. So we're gonna click on that. And right here on this screen, what we have are all the entries that have been made into that form. To view the user tracking data, all we have to do is come over to the right hand side here and click on the view link. As you can see here, this is the contact form data that the users inputted here, their name, email, and their message. Below that, we can add a note to this entry as well if we want to. And then right below that is the user journey tracking data. So these are all the steps that the user took before they filled out the contact form. And with this, what we can do is we can see where the user has been on the site and what led them to complete the form. In this example, we can see that they started on the home page and then they moved to a couple of product pages and viewed them. And they came back to the home page and then viewed a blog post and then came back to the home page and then completed the form. So the information that we can take from this, we can see the pages that the users visited and we can also see how long they've been on the page for. So we can take this information and it can help us decide on what else to do with our website or what to add to the site. So for this example, we could see if there's a pattern amongst users taking a similar journey through the products or if there's popular products that people are viewing before they're filling out a form. And that can help us make decisions on what other products we could add to the site that may work. If we scroll just below the user journey, we can see there's a location section just here. And if you wanna see more data like the location of these users, we can install a geolocation add-on and that will give us more information about the kind of people that are using our website and filling out the form. To install that, if you're on the entry page, just like I am, you can install or activate from here. So you can just click that button or you can head over to add-ons here on the left-hand side, click on that. And on the add-ons page, just scroll down, find the geolocation add-on and click the install add-on button. So that's it from me. I hope this video helped you out and you learned something if you did make sure you hit that like button and drop us a comment below to let us know or if you have any questions. Also, while you're here, check this video out next. It's fantastic. Thanks for watching.